welcome to virtualnetworkconcepts.com hi friends today we are going to discuss about how to configure uh, ospf routing in gns3 ospf is nothing but one of the routing protocol it is also a open standard protocol it is a full form of is uh, open shortest path first routing protocol okay so today we are going to discuss about this this routing protocol full practical oriented session so first of all we need some basic understanding about what is the ospf protocol so first we are going to uh, learn some basic uh, theory session in this uh, video okay so first of all i am going to uh, telling some some basic understanding about ospf ospf is nothing but one of the open standard routing protocol you can see here this is open standard routing protocol okay this is open standard routing protocol this is full form is open shortest path first uh, next it is a successor of rip it is a advanced version of uh, rip protocol rip routing protocol routing information protocol uh, routing rip protocol have some some disadvantage it is overcome that uh, rip routing protocol is some uh, disadvantages mm, okay next it is the classless routing La classless routing is nothing but uh, uh, it is supporting any any one class uh, means a uh, class a class b or class c you can use any class of the any any network in this uh, routing protocol next uh, it is work with the uh, link state advertisement link state advertisement is nothing but each and every router connected via some links okay suppose some link is have some modification some updates that time only it is reacting in this case it is called a link state advertisement protocol okay the each and every router communicate to uh, other routers each and every router communicate to other routers uh, means um, uh, for sharing some routing tables to other routers uh, via that broadcast ip address uh, like that this is a multicast ip address 224.0.0.5 this ip address is used to communicate to other router via um, uh, for sending that update messages okay this is the ip address of that update messages multicast ip address uh, to 24.0.0.0.5 okay okay next so we have some um, next thing this ospf routing protocol uh, ad value that administrative value is distance is uh, 110 then okay next the address administrative distance uh, this 110 the next what is the matrix matrix is nothing but is a total count of cost in means it is a supported of how many routers and how, how, how many length it is possible to transfer this uh, this um, net discount is uh, 108 uh, divided by bandwidth in bits per second we are using the cisco okay so next section we are going to discuss what is the function of this ospa protein protocol each and every router sending hello packet each and every router sending hello packets uh, each and every, uh, sending hello packet every 10 second to the neighbor router so for uh, neighbor routers are alive, alive or not for for this purpose they are sending each every 10 second to the neighbor router sharing the hello packet is every 10 second okay it is a very faster convergence it is a very faster convergence okay it is useful to uh, build make a very large hierarchical design for this using this uh, ospf routing protocol uh, this routing protocol have the some lot split into some areas like that area one area two area zero something the area zero is the backbone of uh, that uh, that the backbone of that ospf routing protocol this area zero is the backbone of the ospf routing protocol okay next mm, this ospf routing protocol uh, maintaining some three tables uh, one is uh, we are going to discuss the three tables first one this maintain three tables okay it maintain three three, uh, three tables one is neighbor table neighbor table is nothing but uh, it, uh, each and every router uh, communicate uh, to the neighbor neighbor routers uh, each, this router have the what are the my neighbor routers uh, it is storing the neighbor uh, neighbor routers information this is called the neighbor table neighbor table contains the information about directly can to the ospf you know, the neighbor forming adjacency okay it is storing the uh, neighbor router information in, in this table this is called the neighbor table okay next one is the database database table database table is nothing but is a whole view of a whole view of uh, the entire view of the topology okay it is storing all the uh, ospf uh, topology information in this table next one is routing information protocol is nothing but is it is called as a, uh, it is called as a best path first it is it getting information from the topology table this is a best path using that um, calculated from that shortest best best path algorithm okay okay there are three tables are there one is uh, neighbor table another one is uh, database table another one is routing table neighbor table storing the neighbor 
routers information in this table database table storing the whole view of the entire view of the, the this topology the, the osp of topology the next one is routing table routing table tables maintain the best path the this osp of routing uh, routing uh, from this database table okay mm. uh, next uh, next we want to discuss about uh, some uh, there's some disadvantage of uh, OSP. It is taking more CPU and more memory usage in this routing table. This is the main disadvantage of uh, C um, OSP routing protocol. The main advantage is, is it is a yeah, uh, successor of uh, RIP routing protocols. Main advantage is the successor of RIP, RIP routing. So it is supporting the classless and uh, other things. Okay, this is the overview of the open shortest path uh, routing protocol. Okay, so next we are going to discuss about uh, we are um, discuss uh, in a practical oriented session. Okay. So see, you can see. So I'm going to genius this after. I'm going to make a very big, uh, large uh, enterprise network today. You can see all the real practical oriented session. So first, uh, I need a minimum three Cisco routers. Cisco routers are available from this list. I'm clicking this router icons. I have the some uh, list of routers there. So I need. Uh, I'm taking any one router. Uh, I need minimum three routers. Okay, I'm taking. I'm taking <coughs> this router from here. Okay. I am taking one router from here. So another router also from here. Another router also from here. Just RNG two. Okay. This also Cisco one seven double zero model router. Okay. Next, this each router making uh, three uh, different net networks. Okay. This case I am taking R one uh, R one one router. This is an R two one router. R three one router. Okay. So next, I'm going to choose switches. I'm going to choose switches from this icon, switch icon, okay? I'm clicking the switch. Uh, the, the, this are the, the communication device available. So I'm going to take a switch from this list, okay? So first I'm taking one switch from here, this switch one, this switch two, and switch three, okay? So if it is done, this, there are three switches. This three switches is used to make the interland company in the making the interland interland network topology so this case i am taking this three switches switch one and switch two and switch three okay next i am going to take any device uh, or host uh, i am taking host from this list here one host icon that this is the one of nothing but one of the uh, virtual pc it is only for testing purpose uh, okay so i am going to take this switch one host from here one host from here this land topology, another one host from the, this land topology. Okay, another one host from this land topology. Once you become this close this session. By default, this Cisco router, this type of Cisco model router, uh, don't have the that is serial port. Each and every Cisco routers want to communicate via the serial keyboard. So in this case we need the serial interface of the each, each of these routers. By default, this Cisco routers, uh, three of Cisco router uh, don't have the, that serial interface adapters. So first of all, I'm going to add the Cisco serial interface. Go to right click, uh, go to configuration tab. Okay, go to right click and go to configuration tab. Right click, configuration tab, double click the router, go to slot option. Okay, go to slot option, double click, go to weak, weak interface. This is the user to bother adding the serial interface in your router. Okay, choose the weak. I'm taking only mm, one, one T. For this, I need only one uh, which serial interface for this interface, this uh, this router. So in this case, I'm taking only one port serial interface. Once you complete, I click OK. This is core router was right now uh, serial interface was configured successfully. Next, I'm going to add this Cisco. This Cisco. This, this is the central of the our uh, topology. So in this case, if this need this this end one um, serial interface and this end one serial interface. So okay. This case we need we want to add two serial interface of this in this router. Go to right click your router. Go to configuration. Go, uh, go to slot option. Uh, choose your router uh, weak interface from here. Okay. Uh, go to I'm adding. I need two which serial interface. So in this case I'm adding two interface port. Okay. Click OK. Once you done, go to this router. Go to configure. Double click your RT router. Go to slash. Uh, want to add from this weak uh, interface uh, serial interface from here. So choose, I need only one interface. In this case, I'm choosing big 1T interface, okay. And then click OK, after click OK, mm. just click OK. So once if you done it done, uh, these three routers have the serial interface getting successfully. Next, we want to make the connections from between this topology, making topology. So we, I'm taking, uh, choosing this icon. 
so click this icon i want to make the first serial connectivity from this router to this router choose from here serial drive is here okay from here to here serial drive 0 slash 0 once it is done you can make 0 slash serial drive 0 slash 1 2 and serial interface 0 slash 0 once it is done right now you can see serial interface router to router communication was successfully completed next we want to make the uh, lan connectivity mm, okay so lan configuration from here to here then here to here so then here to here you can see this is the uh, serial interface connectivity okay this is the serial interface connectivity then this is the uh, lan fast Ethernet connectivity each and every router making the um, lan network okay okay so this time i'm going to add the uh, fast ethernet cable so choosing fast ethernet 0 to 0 okay done this also done so i'm just choosing that uh, first interface okay don't forget to choose first interface okay choose first interface done this also done so i'm going to choose the fast ethernet 0 to 0 okay next this also done so i'm choosing here second interface okay okay so go to choose second interface done this also done go to that router fast ethernet 0 to 0 go to a switch switch then go to the third interface so i am choosing the virtual pc third interface no this is not uh, sorry uh, go to choose that one two three third, third interface okay i am going to make the connection to the third interface once it is done so want to cancel this session okay just click it okay so once it is done you can start your router you can see here our routers are switched up state so you want to start your uh, network topology okay um, using that is start icon okay go to start your router just click you can see right now these three routers ready to start just wait few seconds it will take some times so once you start you can ready to start your network configuration okay you can see friends right now this whole topology saw starter successfully okay so right next you want to configure your topology uh, so first by first basically i want to first decide what is my network size ip address other things so this network is 10.0.0.0 network this whole network means this whole networks up to this 10.0.0 networks then this whole network is 11.0.0 networks so this case i'm going to make this 11.0.0.0 okay next i'm going to making this and I'm making this and making this topology i want to make this network is 182.168.1.0 okay the next network is 182.168.2.0 okay the next topology is 182.168.3.0 so you can see right now i have the 10.0 networks 11.0 networks and 182.168.1.0 network 182.162.0 network and 192.163.0 so right now i have the uh, 1 2 3 4 5 networks in this environment you can see okay so here after i'm going to configure each and everything manually okay so first this is our zero network this is the network this is the network okay so I am going to assign the IP address of this interface. IP address is 10.0.0.1. Okay, this is the this serial this interface. You can click this. You can see what other interface you can hear here. This this icon used to for the uh, want to view our interface uh, address uh, means interface numbers. Okay, so I am going to add this interface IP address. Uh, IP address is 10.0.0.2. Okay. Then this this interface is I'm going to assign 11.0.0.1, and this interface I'm going to assign 11.0.0.2. Okay, this this part our basic understanding purpose. We can uh, assign the IP address to our interface. You know very well, no problem. Suppose we want to some basic understanding. This case I'm going to write that these labels. Okay, next I'm going to assign this interface 192.168.1.1. This is my default gateway IP address of this LAN. Next, I'm going to assign this uh, interface IP address 192.168.2.1. This is default gateway of this 2.0 network. Okay. Uh, I'm going to assign the that network 192.168.3.0.3.1. Okay. Friends, now you can see very um, carefully. Uh, this is the 
this one dot zero network default keep it okay this one into one six one but one this ip address is one into one six two point one is this two point zero network default keep it this one into one six three point one is the three dot zero network default keep it okay so this is the one lan this also one lan this also one lan these three lans have the default default uh, uh, gateway this and this and this okay so next we want to discuss briefly configure going to configure our router so by default we want to configure first uh, we are going to configure our uh, router r1 okay so uh, go to right click your router uh, go to console option option is there okay uh, go to right click and the console option sorry uh, cancel go to right click and console okay you can see right now it is ready to start your router uh, this is your router console this is your router console you are going to configure your router here uh, okay uh, this is the basic mode i'm going to first uh, what are the interface available in my router so you can see here my router have there are the three two interface one is serial interface another one is fast internet interface so first of all i'm going to configure my serial interface 0 slash 0 okay i'm going to configure 0 into 0 no so go to your router first you want to verify with the your router interface what is the router interface available this and this okay uh, first you want to show ip interface brief this command used to do what are the interface available in your router you can see friends this is the serial interface 0 to 0 the same interface is this okay so next one is uh, fast ethernet 0 to 0 interface is this and same interface is this your router okay this both interface right now IP was not assigned. This is what is showing unassigned state. This both interface right now was not, not uh, sorry, power on. So here is showing the power on state. Okay. So after we are going to configure, we want to uh, switch on this interface. Okay. So first I am going to configuration mode, config terminal. We are saying this is access mode. This is a, this is a normal mode. Yeah, showing this. This is access mode showing our own config mode. Okay. Next, I want to assign the IP address of this serial interface. Okay. <coughs> interface uh, serial interface 0 slash 0. Okay. IP address, I'm going to assign IP address uh, 10.0.0.1 space 255.0.0.0. Okay. Press enter. Uh, I'm going to power on the interface. No shutdown command. Once you've done, come back, exit. So you can see here green. Yes, to my friends. Uh, you can see friends here. Uh, these are the. Uh, this, this is the serial interface zero slash zero serial interface. This is the IP address of our serial interface ten point zero point zero point one, and this is our subnet uh, default subnet mask of our this interface two fifty by two fifty by zero. Uh, okay. Next, uh, this is the this command used to uh, power on the your interface. This right now before this interface is down state, so this interface used to power on our interface. Okay, uh, once completed, come exit. Mm, want to verify? So, IP interface brief. So you can see this serial interface was right now IP was assigned. This is the IP address of this interface. Right now the port was up. Okay. Uh, Okay, there no problem. No problem. Okay, next I'm going to configure the interface fast Ethernet port. Uh, interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 IP address 192.168.1.1 space 255.255.255.0 no shutdown exit exit so ip in the series b and so you can see here uh, this is our uh, fast ethernet port 0 to 0 i am at an ip address is 10.0.1.1 okay the status is up but if you look at here some error is there 300 base so i am going to pass uh, solve that error okay this is showing some power down state okay i'm going to start the again going to configuration mode uh, interface fast serial interface 0 slash 0 ip address is ip address 
टेन पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट वन स्पेस टू टी का जीरो जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो ओके नो शट डाउन कमांड एग्जिट एग्जिट शो आई पी इंडर केस ब्री ओके वही वाली सब प्रॉब्लम नॉट दिस ओके दिस हेयर शोइंग ऑन प्रॉब्लम नो प्रॉब्लम इट विल सॉल्व दी आर फ्यूचर जस्ट वाइट एंड सी नोट दिस हेयर इट विल सॉल्व ऑटोमेटिकली फ्यूचर ओके वंस इट इज डन दिस राउटर कॉन्फ़िगरेशन वाज सक्सेसफुली डन सो नेक्स्ट आई एम गोइंग टू कॉन्फ़िगर दिस लैन पीसी दिस लैन पीसी आईपी एड्रेस इज 192.192.168.1.2 दिस इज द लैन आवर लैन इंटरफेस आईपी एड्रेस सो आई एम गोइंग टू राइट नो कॉन्फ़िगर दिस हियर ऑन ऑप्शन इज देयर गो टू टूल्स हाउ टू कॉन्फ़िगर दिस वर्चुअल पीसी गो टू टूल्स टूल्स राइट क्लिक गो टू वर्चुअल पीसी ऑप्शन वर्चुअल पीसी ओके टूल्स वर्चुअल पीसी to a successfully open I send, I send IP IP 192.168.1.2 subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and my default gateway is 192.168.1.1 okay <coughs> just wait a few seconds uh, it is checking duplicate IP address in this network any duplicate IP address are there or not they will check automatically if there, if there is no duplicate IP address It will take me what other IP you are putting. It will take you automatically. So right now, want to verify this IP address? So IP camera. Friends, you can see here. Uh, this is our uh, host IP address one eighty two one six one two. This is our IP address. Uh, this is my subnet mask two fifty five two fifty five dot zero. This is the twenty four bit mask. This yes is taking the slash twenty four. Okay. So next time you can see here. This is the gateway. This land into having the this gateway. This is my gateway IP address. It is taking the one eighty two one six one two gateway IP address. Okay, just minimize this session. Next, I'm going to configure this R2 router. This R2 router has the two interface. Uh, one interface is this IP address, and another serial interface has the this IP address. This is the series dash zero zero one. This is the zero one zero one. So I'm going to configure series. Um, this router go to right. Um, go to router. Um, go to router. Click the console. Also want to verify what other router interface available. Just want to verify this router has the two interface, uh, three interface. One is zero serial, zero slash zero. Another one serial is um, one slash one, zero slash one. Another one is positive number zero slash zero. Okay. So first I want to verify that. So IP interface uh, brief using that command. Okay. Okay. You can see this. This is the serial interface zero slash zero. Uh, this is the third interface. Okay. The ne next one is serial interface zero slash one. This is the this interface. Next one is the positive number zero slash zero. In this interface is uh, this interface, okay. So I'm going to configure this interface first. Ten point zero point zero point two, uh, okay. Mm. You can see uh, configuration mode. Go to configuration mode. Mm. Interface serial interface zero slash zero, okay. IP address ten point zero point zero point two space two fifty five dot zero point zero point zero. Enter. No shutdown command. Using no shutdown for for on the interface exit. Then exit. Mm. Yes, so verify the type. So IP interface brief. You can see here. Uh, this interface IP address. This is our interface. Once again. Okay. You see, this is our serial interface zero zero zero. Here same this interface. My IP address is ten point zero point zero point two, ten point zero point zero point two. That uh, right now that post status is up. I am using that no using no shutdown command. Okay, right now the protocol was up. If before I am telling one error is there in that uh, R1 router if that protocol is not showing not power down state. So right now you go to your router R1 mm, to verify that is using so IP interface command. You can see right now that the fast is will automatically power on. So in this case. We want to uh, configure both side. In this case, uh, it will automatically power on the protocol state. Okay. This case before showing that power down state. You can understand why this before showing this is a power down state. But right now, once you compute that this interface configuration, it will be showing automatically power on state. This okay. Thank you. Okay. So right now uh, this R2 router was configured this end successfully. I am going to configure next this end uh, serial interface. Go to our R2 router. Uh, so you can see 
this R2 interface is uh, pass, uh, pass serial interface is 0 slash 0 I2 was not assigned I am going to assign that IP address uh, configuration mode config terminal interface serial uh, 0 slash 1 okay IP address is 11.0.0.1 space 255.2.0.0.0 okay uh, using no short run command exit 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 so ip interface exit you can see you can see right now uh, this interface this r2 router interface is uh, 0 slash 0 this is the serial interface 0 slash 1 uh, this interface IP address is 10.11.0.0.1 .0 .0 and this protocol this stages up okay uh, here also success okay so right now i'm going to configure that this pass within a 0 slash 0 interface IP address uh, I'm going to configuration mode terminal interface for signal 0 slash 0 uh, IP address uh, 192.168.2.1 this is our uh, this 2.1 network default gateway IP address then I subnet mask to 255.255.255.0 okay now shut down uh, exit exit verify the three interface right now so ip interface three you can see friends this three interface was right now configured for zero 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 ip address is one zero one sixty two point one i configured this is the interface this is the lan network so right now the protocol suggests after that it will all are up okay so this protocol was successfully this interface was configured successfully once if you commit uh, next you want to configure this this pc ip address I'm going to assign this IPC IP address is 192.168.2.2. So I'm going to configure this IP address. So go to your PC. So already virtual PC was opened from here. So here already minimized. Don't want to open new session. Just tick two. This two option is to go to the second virtual PC. Okay. Press enter. You can see friends. So by default is we're going to see second PC. So I'm going to assign the IP IP. 192.168.2.2 slash 255.255.255.0 my default gateway is 192.168.2.1 just enter friends you can see here this is my default gateway of this this netland network this is my default gateway of this pc okay uh, see uh, successfully can be using so ip command for verify that you can see this is my pc ip address this is my default subnet mask this is my default gateway IP address. Okay, once it is completed, go to configure the third PC. Mm, my third PC, my third router. Sorry, my third router. I'm going to this third router have the two interface. One is the fast Ethernet interface zero slash zero, and one is the serial interface uh, this zero slash zero. So I'm going to configure these two interface right now. Okay, go to router, go to console. Want to check whether the interface are available in my router? Uh, Okay, so IP interface brief. You can see this is my serial interface. Okay, this is my fast interface. Okay, so I'm going to configure by first to my serial interface 0 slash 0. This is my serial interface 0, and this is my IP address 11.0.0.2. Okay, first I'm going to configuration mode interface serial 0 slash 0. IP address. Uh, 11.0.0.12 sorry 2 255.0.0.0 okay no shutdown okay once you sorry mm. okay you can see okay Okay, one second come exit exit so IP interface brief see friends this serial interface was right now configured down point zero point zero point two this protocol set is up my protocol set is also open and my slim set is also open this is the my IP address of this interface okay so once if you complete that go to configure our uh, fast internet interface this IP address this interface also zero 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 Go to your router, go to configuration mode, 
terminal uh, pass ethernet interface pass ethernet 0 slash 0 ip address uh, 192.168.3.1 space 255.255.255.0 uh, no shutdown no shutdown exit exit so ip interface brief you can see right now this pass is interface ip address is 182.163.1 my all the error of so right now you can see friends uh, this interface was successfully configured for this LAN default gateway this is the ip address of this default gateway okay next i'm going to configure uh, this pc ip ip i am going to assign this ip address of this pc 192.168.3.2 so i'm going to ask configure this into pc so already this virtual pc was open so in this case i don't want to open i'm going to go to virtual pc and choose three okay right now you can this three options you should do go to that pc okay so it's like this uh, i send ip ip 192.168.3.2 space two t5.255.255.0 192.168.3.2 it will check uh, any duplicate IP address on this network. If it is not there, it will take not only. So IP command to verify. This is my PC IP address 182.163.2, and my, this is my subnet mask 2.255.255.0. Okay, this is my default gateway IP address of this LAN. Okay, so once you complete the uh, next one to configure the uh, OSPF routing, next one to configure the OSPF routing. Okay, so today we are, right now we are going to configure the OSPF routing. See carefully. So first I'm going to router R1. First I'm going to configure the router R1. This router R1 have the two routers. One is 10.0.0.1. Another one is 192.168.1.0 networks. Okay. This this there are two two networks have. Mm, okay. So first I'm going to configure the R1 router. Okay. Go to configuration mode. I'm going to configure the OSP of routing using IP routing. IP routing. Uh, my uh, OSPF router, uh, router OSPF1. This is my, this is my area of the uh, OSPF1. This is my OSPF area. One. You know, there's not a problem. You can use it. Okay, no problem. Uh, I want to. What are the networks I connected? One is 10.0.0.2. Another one is 192.161.2. So I want to configure this network, this routing. Okay, first I'm going to uh, network, network. Uh, my IP address is 182.168.1.0 uh, this is nothing but this interface this network address okay then my subnet mask is I am giving to um, the reverse order uh, reverse order name is uh, wildcard mask the 255 we are giving now this is called as a wildcard mask I am going to give here 0 point, uh, 0 point, 0 point, 0 point, 255. this is a wildcard mask this is the area of 0 so right now I configured this whole network in this router. In this router, okay. This is the uh, network address of this configuration. So next I'm going to configure the this network 10.0.0 network. So same network. 10.0.0.0. Uh, My wildcard mask is 0 0.255.255.255. Okay. And this is this also area zero. You can see so right now I configured this 10.0.0 network. This is for successfully configured this whole network. Okay, so come back exit. Come back exit. Okay, once you become it, I want to verify the routing tables. Once just wait, just minimize this. I'm going to configure next R2 router. So R2 router has the three networks one is 10.0.0 networks, and it's 11.0.0 networks, another one is 182.162.0 networks. So three networks want to configure in this R2 router. Okay. I'm going to R2 router, mm, go to configuration mode, uh, configuration mode, con terminal, uh, router OSP of IP routing, uh, router OSP of 2. You can set this for the uh, some identification purpose. Okay, I'm going to configure this screen. First, I'm going to configure this network 10.0.5 network. network. 10.0.0.0 this 0 0.255 that is why my value weight is mask 255 255 uh, okay 
this is my uh, this is the this is the area uh, zero okay because this is also want to configure this is the this area this net uh, network successfully configured in this OSP module okay you can see this is the 10.0.0 next i'm going to configure the uh, this network 182.162 this whole network uh, i'm going to configure 182.162.0 okay uh, next network 182.168.2.0 this also is uh, 0 okay this is right now one configured this networks successfully was configured this whole network next i want to configure the uh, next interface 11.0.0.1 networks this network i want to configure next uh, network 11.0.0.0 then zero oh next this is a zero point two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty five space area zero this also uh, this network also in the right now because successfully was configured this is the network cutters of this network um, okay this is the network cutters this is the wild card mask of this okay configure successfully uh, come back exit come back exit just to minimize this router next i want to configure this router r3 router r3 router have the two networks one is 11 pandemic networks and one is the uh three dodge networks i'm going to configure this r3 router mm, go to router configuration no terminal uh, ip routing okay ip routing uh, but this router have the territory one is uh, um, uh, through ospf ospf one network is network 192.168.3.0 is 0 0.0.0.255 is the new area is Q um, area is 0 ok next so you can see right now this network was successfully configured ok you can see this is a, um, sorry uh, this, this network was successfully configured so I am going to next to configure the this network this network ok mm network 11.0.0.0 0 then this is my 0 0.255.255.255 this is my world card mask this is the reverse of uh, subnet mask this also area 0 ok once you come back exit come back exit ok so next want to view the routing cable of this uh, want to verify the routing cables what this is the one to waste cables this one of the neighbor table uh, another one is uh, route database table another one is the routing table so you want to verify this so before you want to make the ping test from here to here from here to this three three pieces want to make from here to here um, then here to here so uh, you can use to directly ping to here to here whole networks want to make the testing between so i'm going to my virtual pc first i'm going to choose my first pc to uh, this pc and to check the ping entity okay uh, I'm going to first uh, my login this first PC. Uh, go to my first PC. Choosing one option. I'm choosing ping ping 192.168.2.2. Just wait a few seconds. Yeah, super. Friends, you can see uh, this PC communicate to us my second PC. The second network uh, PC successfully configured. The OSPF routing was working. Paka super. This is the basic concept of uh, uh, OSPF route routing process. So next, I want to uh, mm, verify the this PC to this PC to then this PC. So go to your first PC. Uh, ping 192.168.3.2. So just enter. Ah, this is uh, this also working. Paka super. You can see working fine. Okay, this whole network was working fine next uh, i'm going to uh, take the test between from here to here i'm going to my second pc okay ping 192.168.3.2 sorry 3.2 this also working super you can see we're getting some messages this is also working this two pcs are communicated in this network so right now this all the pc are successfully come there so i want to view my routing tables um, view my routing tables first i want to view my uh, routing table 
Okay, first I'm going to be another game. Go to our own router. Go to, I'm going to choose our own router routing JFS. Go to uh, our own router. Uh, show IP routing. This command is good. You can see this is our routing table. O means OSPF routing. Okay, so you can see here this is the O means OSPF routing. This is the uh, you can see. You can see this is the OSPF routing. Each router is stored in the nearest router information. This is the this router have the this information, but this router also storing the 2.0 networks. And next one is the 3.3.0 networks, but this router also storing the 3.0 networks also. You can see. Okay, this is the AD value, AD value. Uh, this is the matrix value of this this routing. Okay. Mm. Next, I want to view the uh, database uh, database table. So IP routing <coughs> database table from it. I want to view that command. Okay. OSPF OSPF database table. Okay, this is the uh, basic understand about uh, So next, I want to view the there are next there are, uh, next there are two tables are there three tables. So first, I view the uh, neighbor table and my database table. I want to view from my routers tables. So go to a router using this command IP show IP OSP of database. You can see this is the store in the whole topology view of river. Uh, total network uh, you can see this is one dot one people gateway this is two dot one people three gateway and you can see this is a compare with the topology mm. you can see this is the whole view of our four networks one dot one network this is the one dot one network uh, this is the two dot one network topology this is the three dot one network topology this is the whole view of the uh, database table next i want to do the neighbor table using the neighbor table ospf Neighbor command using the mm, uh, using the using the neighbor uh, neighbor command. So what is my this is my router R one router. So what is my neighbor uh, neighbor network? And this is my neighbor network. This case is uh, taking the neighbor database informations. You can see that neighbor informations. Okay. So each and every router I want to store in this like data. This is my neighbor tables. Uh, this is neighbor address of this. Mm, this is the neighbor table. This router is R one router. This is storing the neighbor uh, neighbor addresses. 10.0.0 networks. This router have the this this network uh, table gateway. This is showing this. Okay, this is the basic understanding about uh, OSP configure routing in VNS3. Okay, friends. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you have more doubt, visit my website and uh, my subscribe my YouTube channel. Okay, thank you.